Now, here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with Chief Forecaster Bob McGuire. Good evening, everybody. We're going to start off tonight in Ventura County, California. The wild Santa Ana winds are howling again there and has caused a wildfire. This has been up on our satellite since about 8 o'clock this evening, and the fires are just impressive there. Take a look at that, if you will. It's just really burning very wild all over Ventura County. It was just early in the fall. We had Orange County wildfires that did a lot of damage. This could be doing the same thing because those Santa Ana winds are expected to stick around at least through tonight and probably most of tomorrow and on into the next day. Now here's the way it looks in buildings right now. Currently we have 19 degrees with partly cloudy skies where we have the camera po poked right now at the, you can see the full moon. And uh, at the moment there are no clouds around it. We have a southwest wind at 12 miles per hour. Gives us a wind chill factor that feels like seven. Meanwhile, I'll tell you, look at this. Our reported high today was 30 degrees. Here's your normal high, 37. The record, 65 back in 1979. Record low was 11 below back in 1972. Precipitation-wise, yeah, we had a little snow this morning and uh, throughout the afternoon gave a three hundredths of an inch of precipitation. Takes us to 1700s for December, and we're almost at 16 inches on the year. I only need to be at 1323 to be caught up to average, and our current temperatures right now still into the teens and 20s out in the west. Back here in eastern Montana, the same deal, 20s, although mild city. They're the hot spot at 31 degrees here in Billings. We have really cooled down. We've got that clearing sky over us right now. So we've really dropped from like 23 degrees down to 19 in about a half hour. So it's really dropping fairly quickly. You'll notice these are our reported highs today. 20s and 30s out in the west. Back here, this is basically the same story. Northern Wyoming, low 30s out there as well. 32 at Sheridan today. But here's the story now. We had a few scattered flurries. They're pushing out of the area. Clearing skies in Billings right now, but off towards the west, we do see a few more clouds filtering in. So we'll be in and out of that cloud cloud cover as the night goes on. We do have a chance for some more flurries tomorrow evening, I should say this evening, and then also uh, probably sometime tomorrow morning. Here we are at 1030, just some scattered flurries off to the west, and then by tomorrow morning, some of this could blow on through by 6 a.m. We do have a new high pressure starting to build into the region. That becomes a warm front and pushes that all the way in towards the Dakotas by Tuesday night on into Wednesday morning, but then by Wednesday evening, that high pressure cell up there, that starts moving in and takes that warm front and pushes it back west again into the process. It gives us an easterly flow, and we see some scattered snow showers developing in the Beartooth Mountains again. In the meantime, tonight we'll see our temperatures cool down to 7 degrees over in Butte. These are the actual air temperatures, not the wind chill factors. 20s for overnight lows in the northwest. Back here in like places like Lewistown will be 19. Here across the High Line, 20s to teens. 18 at Glendive, 24 at Mile City Billings tonight, about 18 degrees. And then elsewhere it'll be 24 at Hardin, 22 at Broadus. Livingston will be about 23 degrees tonight. Tomorrow, back to the 30s over in Livingston, 40s here in Billings, and Hardin 43 at Roundup. But you'll notice uh, uh, farther out in the west, our high temps only get back up into the 30s, but they're going to have mostly sunny skies out here tomorrow. We'll just have maybe a couple of flurries in the morning, partly cloudy skies the rest of the day, but still we're going to manage to warm up into the 40s. That chance of flurries is only in the morning, and after that it kind of goes away. After that, you'll see temperatures tonight about 20 degrees by midnight, down to 18 at 6 a.m., 38 by noontime. 34 by 6 p.m. with mostly cloudy skies, but the wind's kicking up again out of the west at 20 miles per hour. Next seven days, 41 degrees on Tuesday, 39 Wednesday, 47 by Thursday, and then as we head into your weekend, look at that, bouncing right back up into the 50s. Mostly sunny skies over the weekend, maybe 46 degrees by Monday. That's weather. Let's go back to Jay.